clear. Now let's see leaky bucket algorithm. Okay. Leaky bucket algorithm is used to control congestion in the network. So, one of the congestion control algorithms that is mainly controls the total amount of rate of traffic sent to the network. Okay. Leaky bucket algorithm is used to control congestion in the network. Say this figure. Okay, so leaky bucket here. So burst flow. Burst flow. This is a fixed slow. Imagine that a bucket, it's a bucket with small hole at the bottom. Water is coming inside. Okay, the water is coming inside. That is a not constant, constant la. Either it will flow or the fasting in a certain item in the dump. But the water is leaking from the bucket. That is constant rate. Okay, water is poured into the bucket. That is not constant. Leaks from the bucket at constant rate. Okay. Here. So, the rate at which water leaks does not depend upon the rate at which water is input to the bucket. Okay. Either, either it depend on water leak in the water pour in the depend on the If bucket is full, in case the bucket is full, in case the bucket is full, Additional water, if you have full eye, additional water in the middle of the side of the water is side of the water. If you have a Okay, if water is full, bucket is full, additional water that enters in the bucket that spills over the sides and is lost. This same concept is applied to the packets in the network. Okay, when a host wants to send a packet, the packet is thrown into the network. The bucket leaks at constant rate means regulated flow. That is, say this diagram. So, host computer. Host computer. Bucket Okay, so leaky bucket here. Each host is connected to the network by an interface. Each host is connected to the network by an interface that containing leaky bucket. That is, it is a finite internal queue. Okay, our host network that is connected to the interface on the leaky bucket. That is, finite internal queue on it. Okay. Packets arrive at this queue. When it is full, the packet will be discarded. Otherwise, keep into the bucket. Okay. Here, host wants to send a packet. Packet is thrown into the bucket. Bucket leaks at constant rate. Means regulated flow. 
by the burst in traffic is converted to uniform traffic in the case say this diagram Okay, see this diagram. When we are sending a packet, when we are sending a packet, okay, if this bucket is full, the skew is full, the packet will be discarded. Okay, if it is not full, okay, if bucket is having some space, then we are going to store all these packets in the buckets or queue. Then send it gradually at constant rate to the Processor. Okay. Okay. That is leaky bucket algorithm. Here may disadvantages. Disadvantages whenever bucket is full that spills over the sides. Okay. Data will be lost. Okay. Data loss is the main problem in the leaky bucket algorithm. The leaky bucket algorithm or the leaky bucket algorithm is used for Controlling the congestion in the network that is used for controlling the total amount of rate of traffic sent to the network. Sent to the network that is sender is sending lot of data through a, then through a small hole in the bucket that is coming out as very less. Okay. So bucket load speed data transmission rate of the bucket inside the bucket load the bucket the bucket load the bucket the bucket load the bucket Regulated flow like constant rate like by which we can control. In disadvantages, data will be lost in the case of leaky bucket. Okay, this is one of the congestion control algorithms. Okay, this is all about leaky bucket algorithm. Thank you.